What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Call of Duty Mobile. Today, we take a quick look at the Easter event going on right now in COD Mobile. A quick overview of the event, the rewards you guys should look for, the good and the bad in the event, and some tips to help you guys get the eggs faster. Let's get into it, guys. Before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily Call of Duty Mobile videos. Let's go. So first of all, make sure you guys click on that event tab on the left. And there's a lot of stuff going on right now in COD Mobile. Some older events are not finished yet. Well, we got the weekly challenges on the bottom, uh, the weekly rank multiplayer challenges, the daily mission exchange center. By the way, I'm at 102 uh, daily coins right now with 19 days remaining. I didn't spend any. I did collect most of these. I never missed one previously. Uh, but the ongoing events right now, I'm not done. So it's gonna give you guys an idea how many coins you should have right now. So let's go with the Easter egg stuff. Now, the collection event is the same as we had previously. We had the Lunar New Year event when we had to collect ribbons. Uh, we had some dog tag events. We had the Halloween pumpkin events. So all these collection events, they always have two parts. You have the milestone where you have to collect a certain amount of this time it's eggs and each time you collect a few you're gonna get some rewards the rewards are not great guys it's mostly xp cards and the top rewards is a green weapon a non-common so the camo is pretty cool it's a decent weapon also the rus 79u is uh one of the top smgs in the game arguably of course but i love that weapon a lot it's a very very good weapon uh the camo is cool but once again it's a non-common no perks so it's not a big deal if you miss these rewards, but you're just going to get them anyways by playing. 100 eggs, uh, I just played like two team that match or something, and I have like 17. So uh, I didn't play much last night. Now, this is part one, the milestones, and part two is the rank. So the more you collect, the higher you'll go in the ranks, and the higher you go in the ranks, the better the rewards. So if you check the rewards this time, the top rewards, you need to reach the top 5% of the players. And usually, it's about 400, okay? If you collect 400 eggs this week, you should be pretty close to the top 5%. It used to be more than that, but with time, maybe less players are going hard. Uh, more players are playing Battle Royale. But anyways, if you reach the top 5%, guys, you will get a Cubic Illusion Knife, which is very cool and a Cubic Illusion Type 25. Now hear me out guys, I know the Type 25 got nerfed, I know it's not the best or one of the best ARs this season, but balance changes, they always happen. Every season they nerf, they buff. So the Type 25 previously was always one of the top ARs in the game, and this season kind of fell a little bit, but it might be back later. And what I wanted to tell you guys is the Type 25 rare skins, well, we don't have a lot of free skins for the Type 25. We have a lot of rare skins for a lot of weapons. Type 25, guys, type in the comments. I know a lot of free-to-play players do not have a rare Type 25 skin. So, guys, you might want to go for that, even if it's not for this season. First of all, it's a decent weapon, and the Cubic Illusion skin is very cool. I have the AK-117, I have the DLQ. It's a very nice. So, I think this is one of the top rewards you can get this event and uh we have 10 days to do it guys 10 days so until next weekend to collect these now i'm gonna give you guys some tips of course and we're also gonna look at the battle royale uh, event because there's more but some tips to get eggs i mean some players will argue some guys like to go rapid fire mode because you get a lot of action a lot of kills some guys get veto all the all the time like every game they get veto uh but the games are longer so i don't know if it's really worth it it's personal, but if you guys are really good and you get VTOL and like 40 kills every game, well, go rapid fire. But I always used to go on uh, uh, Kill House, a small map. I used to go free for all all the time, but free for all is gone now. So I like to go team that match here, guys. Uh, this is prop hunt because we got prop hunt back, by the way. But yeah, team that match on Kill House is, is my favorite game mode because it's very, very, very quick. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. You want quick games? With still like if you go team that match out of 40 kills you're probably gonna get 20 kills if you're decent because it's a lot of bots so i played two games last night one game i got six eggs and the game after i got three eggs 
but it's fast. It's like um, two minute games, like two minutes for six eggs. I mean, you can do the math. How long are your games in rapid fire and how many gets, uh, how many eggs you get? Because if you get like eight, 10 eggs, but it's 10 minutes, man, it's maybe not worth the time, guys. So just do the math, but I suggest you go team that match on kill house because it's very fast and you're still going to get a decent amount of kills in a short amount of times. And the eggs are random, guys. Sometimes you get more. Sometimes you could get seven or eight. Sometimes you're just going to get one or two. There's nothing you can do to change the RNG. But still, play fast games, get lots of kills in a short amount of time. Let's go back to the events. Now, the other event is the Prop Hunt event. So, yeah, Prop Hunt is back. The reward, the best reward you can get here is a rare BK-57 Cubic Illusion. Once again, BK-57, it's a good weapon this season because of all the nerfs. It's never been one of my favorite weapons, but still it's a very nice skin. So if you guys want to go for it, all you got to do is win two games of prop hunt, which is not too hard, but prop hunt is long. It's boring. It's my least favorite game mode, guys. I never enjoyed these games. Uh, usually I would go AFK just to get the challenges, but night this time you got to get 10 kills if you want the daily coins. And that might be the first time I pass on daily coins since the start because I don't enjoy prop hunt at all. I played one game yesterday uh, and we, well, I got fourth place. So I think you get, you need to get top three to get a win. Um, I got one kill and I, I just don't enjoy it. It's too long and it's not fun for me. So I don't know guys, maybe I'll just try to win two for the, the rare skin, but I might pass on the 10 kills unless I'm really close. And still you have 11 days, so you can play one game every day if you want. But anyways, Battle Royale, guys, we got some challenges. Uh, again, in daily missions, you guys will have to play Battle Royale. You got to go emote a few times in the diner. So what's the best reward you can get? ASM 10 Cubic Illusion. That's also a very cool reward, guys. They've been very generous this time, guys. Easter Egg, Type 25 Cubic Illusion, BK57 uh, Cubic Illusion, and ASM 10. She's a very good weapon right now, guys. You go get it, get that one for sure. And you need 30 points. 30 points, and usually the total is more. So you get a total of 40 points you can collect. So you can get a few of these tasks and pass on a few of these. So you're going to have to find eggs. Well, you can read the, the rewards starting from the bottom, but uh, rabbit racing mini games and turtle racing mini games. Guys, I didn't play Battle Royale yet so i guess you will be looking for these mini games uh look at the circus for eggs you gotta go and break some eggs outside the circus and in the pre-match before the game starts you gotta throw these uh, festive grenades 15 times and hit eight enemies so before we go guys let's go in battle royale pre-game and check out these festive grenades i'll go uh, solo queue with randoms in a four-man squad and see how long we have like to throw these grenades all right so they say uh pick up and throw we got 75 seconds to to find and throw festive grenades well i guess this is well you got five you were the tough leader. but we're gonna also try to like 60 seconds let's try to at least hit some dudes we're gonna cook it that worked the guy's still there all right just find someone and throw it on him four five and i'm just gonna stay there i'm not gonna move so the guy can hit me back um and once again i don't know yeah you can find them on the ground so you can throw more than five uh but i need to find someone well maybe if you really want to maybe you can get all of these in, in one go but like you're gonna play more than Bro, they explode as they touch the ground. Well, hey, uh, I got like maybe 10 or something. There's more. There's there's more. There's a bunch everywhere. All right, 10 seconds. Welcome to battle if I'm not going to find someone, I'm just going to throw them. All right, that will be pretty much it already. And the game will start. So I guess we can go at the circus, look for these eggs, break these eggs. Um, and look for that mini game, turtle and rabbit mini games. So they said outside of circus, look for eggs and break them, right? Yeah. 
So we're outside the circus now. Oh, there's been action here. And you see eggs here? So that's one. And they're gonna give loot. And they're pretty easy to spot because they're bright yellow. I don't know if they're all the same color though. Let's look for more guys. So that was two anyways. And I didn't really look for it. Or I don't know if they respawn also. So if you don't get there first. Oh, there's a teddy bear. Huh. Secrets, guys. Teddy bear at the circus. Um, Outside the gates, I don't know, though. We might have to stay in the circus radius. And maybe some of these dudes already... Oh, there's one here. So that's three now. Oh, wow. Level three vest. The loot's actually pretty good here, guys. Oh, I see another one there. That's four. Five. I don't remember how many I need. All right. You make called airborne, really? All right. So I don't see eggs outside the gate. So I guess you have to stay inside the gates area. We will have action. Okay. Yeah, so maybe my teammates like got a few eggs before me, but I was able to get five real quick without really looking for it. So let's go inside, see if there's more inside, but I'm pretty sure it's got to be outside. All right, and then we'll go here. There's a stage with a rabbit and turtle. So I guess that would be the mini game you have to win. All right, so that was the turtle versus the rabbit. And um, I don't know, let's shoot the rabbit. And you see something happening here. I don't know if you can just do all of them. Because usually it's something you do 1v1. You go with a friend, like I say, I get the turtle, you get the rabbit, and then you just try to win it. I guess we'll just finish that game and see if everything count. Boom. So anyways, turtle versus rabbit mini game is here on the stage. All right, so back into the lobby. Uh, find and break five Easter eggs outside the circus. So that was pretty easy. I got five without really looking for it. So if you guys, I guess if you guys go straight to the circus at the start, you should be able to do it in one game. But if you don't, uh, just play a few games. So let's claim that and then the next one use festive grenades 15 times I did throw 10 of these and hit enemies uh, Eight times I got seven so that shouldn't be too hard after a few games now play two rabbit racing or turtle racing mini games uh, They didn't count as playing two. So I don't know guys uh, play two and win one. I don't know. I guess maybe you have to play with someone so uh one get the rabbit one get the i mean i don't know guys i'll try with friends later on stream uh, if you guys know leave me a comment but the racing game in the circus didn't count for me because i was alone i guess so yeah let me know in the comments if you had it um tell me how you did it all right so that's pretty much it daily missions the battle royale mission is done and i'm gonna have to emote at the diner later on stream so that's pretty much it for the easter event guys uh, we have a whole 10 days to do everything but once again, don't wait for the last day, especially for the uh, the rank up rewards, because you're going to need probably at least a 400 or something like 400. Usually that's the mark. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck with the event and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.